On the subject of the Palestinians, here's Alex in North London. Alex, go ahead, sir. Hi, George. I'm calling from North London. I've, yes. been, I've been listening to you for three months now. Okay. Never had the chance to listen to speak to you. Okay. But um, I was just calling on... I was listening to you a couple of nights ago, and you were talking um, to, these, um, to these people, and they were saying that Israel, the Jews did not have the right to gain Israel from the Palestinians. And I was just saying, throughout history, the Jews have been persecuted, obviously, from the Holocaust. And we were granted Israel as a result of this. And I feel that... Um, granted by whom? We were granted, well, we were granted from, from Britain and other countries, granted us that. Well, what, gave... what right did Britain have to grant you somebody else's country? Well, it's due because we lost six million people. No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not arguing about that. I'm going to come on to that. But what right did Britain have to grant you somebody else's country? We had the right because we lost six million people and we did not have a hundred... Well, yeah, I'm going to ask you for a third time. What right did Britain have to grant you somebody else's country? Well, they didn't... Well, they were giving us the right because it was... we were, um, They were basically gave us because of the... The, um, but they gave you somebody else's country. That's the point I'm making, Alex. Can you deal with it? Yeah, but the Jews have had to, um, have also had to, um, they dealt with this throughout history. Well, Alex, I don't know if you came on with a script and you can't deviate from it. Can you please answer that point? And we'll come to the Holocaust and who was responsible for it and who should have paid and what they should have paid for it. But given that you've said Britain granted you and your presumably saying you because you're Jewish, somebody else's country. I'm asking you, what right did Britain have to grant you somebody else's country? Well, Britain, well, Britain, they, you could say they didn't have a right, but they came in and dealt with us and with the Jews having lost all these lives, and they basically granted us this land. Okay. Well, uh, I, I see I'm getting nowhere on this, Alex, so let me deal with your overarching uh, point. Maybe you're just not equipped to deal with the... Uh, principal point that I have made. The Jews have suffered racist anti-Semitism down the ages in many, many European countries, including our own. Uh, they were subject to regular uh, discrimination at best and pogrom and murder at most. That's undoubtedly true. The one place in the entire world that Jews were neither discriminated against nor subject to pogrom, was the Muslim world. In fact, so much was that the case that when Christianity came back to power in Spain, in Andalusia, in the um, western extent of the Islamic empire, when the Muslims left, the Jews left with them because they feared the Christian anti-Semitism which would be unleashed uh, in the wake of the departure of the Islamic civilization in the West. That's why uh, so many Jews are to be found even today and were to be found in profusion before the creation of the State of Israel in countries like Morocco and along the North African coast because under the protection of the Muslims the Jews left Europe and went to live in North Africa. The Palestine that was wiped off the map when Britain granted you somebody else's country, had Jews living side by side with Christians and Muslims for century upon century without the slightest trace of discrimination or violence or pogrom. So, what's happened is that Christian anti-Semitism in Europe, which massacred six million Jews in the greatest crime in human history, was paid for not by the Christian countries of Europe that either practiced or turned a blind eye to that anti-Semitism, but was paid by the very people who were completely innocent of that Holocaust, who had never persecuted the Jews, who had never pogromed the Jews. And that seems to me to add insult to the injury suffered by a people whose country was wiped off the map who were uh, dispersed into exile to make way for a Zionist idea which was granted to European Jews because these were the first settlers 
granted to European Jews by Britain. And as you have singularly failed, four times I asked you, to acknowledge that Britain had no right to give away somebody else's country, one country given to a second people, the land that actually belonged to a third people, it seems to me an all-round injustice, don't you think, Alex? Yeah, I, d I agree that they didn't have, they didn't so much have the right, but they were stepping in after the Holocaust to grant it to the Jews. But it was, it was a must. It was long before the Holocaust that Britain stepped in. Britain stepped in in 1917 with the Balfour Declaration made by the British uh, Minister Balfour on our behalf to a group of atheistic. Zionist Jews. I make the point about atheism because it's now claimed that this is some biblical land right, as if God was an estate agent. The men to whom Israel was promised were atheistic Jews. They were not only not speaking for all Jews, they represented at that time in 1917 a tiny proportion of the world's Jews. Most of the world's Jews supported communist or socialist parties and ideas at that time. The Zionists represented a tiny sliver of Jewish opinion at that time. Yet, Balfour promised them the land which belonged to a third people without consulting either the British or the world's Jews and least of all consulting the Palestinians. Okay, well thanks very much for talking. Okay, Alex, thanks for listening, my friend.